This is your three-day radiation fallout forecast and rad level update for Monday, January 9th, 2012. The following areas in Canada, the U.S., and Europe have been identified as having the highest potential for radiation fallout over the next 24 to 72 hours based on jet stream, precipitation, and water vapor analysis and forecasts. In Canada, mild rain is forecasted for mid-BC with heavier rain around Edmonton and slight rain moving into Calgary in the next 24 hours. Sudbury, Ottawa, and Toronto are expecting moderate to heavy rainfall in the next 24 to 48 hours. Scattered rain is also forecasted north of Quebec and north of Halifax. In the U.S., scattered rain is occurring across most of Alaska today. Scattered light rain is forecasted for the Pacific Northwest through Maine with the highest concentrations from Texas through Vermont. Please go to NOAA three-day precipitation forecast for map viewing. Strong water vapor loops are also being visualized through Arizona, Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas over the next 48 hours. This may cause fallout conditions without the presence of rainfall. In Europe, the highest potential fallout areas are forecasted for the eastern UK, Norway, Sweden, eastern Finland, and in the next 24 hours, scattered rain and snow conditions are expected from France and Italy eastward. Rad level update. The highest graphs from the EP8 fallout monitoring data for the past three days were Phoenix, Arizona, with a beta count of 700 CPMs, Bakersfield, 550, Bismarck, North Dakota, 500, and Pierre, South Dakota, 400. Everything over 100 CPMs is considered high, and over 300 is hazmat levels. On gear depth, persistent detection of cesium-134 and 137 still is occurring around Slovenia. Iodine-131 continues to be detected near, near Slovenia as well. Iodine-133, no data is available. Please visit FukushimaFacts.com for more information and links to fallout graphs in the U.S. and Europe. Also, keep your eye on the earthquake situation and spent fuel pool number four at the Fukushima plant. More information will be shared via Orion and the Fukushima Facts website if a collapse occurs of reactor number four. This forecast has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. Please share this information with your fellow man and care and concern for each other. We care about you because your government doesn't. Be safe.